Hello everyone, Daniel's here. Let's continue. Let's take the web seven and copy it to web eight. Change the deployment. So go to web, web project settings, web seven to web eight. Okay. And now we have web eight project and let's continue by going to let's see that i'm recording okay go let's go to uh web in web content web in views at passenger let's get this one ready and and then let's go to our servlet okay so here let's do the following let's say that in in our servlet let's say that there was an error and now that it was an error, we want to display the error on the form, on the form that we came from. So we, so after we submit the form, if there was an error so in the form submission, then we want to go back to the form and display the error. So what we're going to do is, in the end of this do post method, where we now have a lot of code, we can do the fo as follows, we can do if so we're going to get request get attribute errors now if this this is i want this to be a boolean i want to convert it to a boolean to cast it to a boolean so this means that If the, the errors attribute could either be true or false, it starts off as false, but we set it to true. If there, if there, we find an error, we set it to true. So now assume, let's assume that we found an error. So we check, let me, uh, let we check if there was a, uh, the, the get attribute value is true. If it's true, then if true, then the code block will execute. So this code block will execute if there was really an error in the form submission. So don't, I press Control Shift F to format. So let's go back to the to the JSP file. Remember, just like in the do get method, we use the request dispatcher to get to to forward the request to the JSP, so we're doing the same thing here. We're forwarding the request to the JSP. And remember our JSP is under web INF, views, add passenger, go JSP. Voila. Okay, there we go. <laughs> now we, use the forward method on the view to give the JSP the request and the response objects. The request object is the object where we set all the attributes and the response object is where the JSP will write the HTML response and will we'll send that response back to the browser. Very well. And so we're done with that. And now if we want to actually display the errors, we go back to our JSP and here we're going to do some, uh, what is known as scriptlets. Now in future tutorials, we will change the scriptlets to uh, expression language and eventually to JSDL, but all this is in the future. For now, let's use scriptlets to make uh, to make the content of our JSP dynamic. Uh, so right under, I would say, let's see, we have form, we have title. So right under the title, I would, let's put this sort of thing. This is between this, uh, this left, left bracket or left left yeah i think bracket and this percentage sign we can put custom java code so if 
request. Here we have access to our request object that we passed to the JSP. Get attribute errors. Okay. Get attribute errors is not null. Well then, if that's the case, then I want to print some HTML. So let's already close let's already close the if statement so there we go and any html that goes here will be conditional see it as scriptlet scriptlet so th this this content will only be printed if errors is not null well if errors so let's put the actual content if errors is not null let's put a field set all this again will only be displayed if errors is not null. Put a legend. The legend, let's see, it should say um, errors. And then let's put a list here and an ordered list UL. Oops. Uh, well, sorry, that's got a bit of a mess here in an ordered list and then in inside of that list we can put the error information so here i'm doing put another scriptlet so i'm doing if request get attribute And the attribute is first first name error. Where it comes from? It comes from here. Remember, if we had an error with the first name, we said the first name error attribute so on the request. Now we're using it. We're getting it. First of all, we're getting that attribute then if it's not null again, if there was a first name error, let's close this thing. And then I now close the inner if statement. Then I want to do lie list. This is um, a list item. And then I'm going to put class error. And I'm going to close this and say uh, first name error. Okay. Now let's copy this and use it for the last name and the date of birth. So let's now use it for the last name. And we also had um, a date format error for the date of birth. Um, it was date format error. We chose that attribute name right here, um, date format error, and we set it to true. So there we go. If this is not null, we're going to put date of birth invalid and there we go remember the gender uh the way it works is that it cannot be invalid because it's either it's already selected so even if the user doesn't change it it's going to be male by default or female male by default and the user can change it to female but so we don't have to check it in, in this application. Well, that's about it. So we can we can run it and great, I think actually, yes, we can run it and see the result. So I saved everything. This is already web eight. So I'm going to open the Glassfish management, deploy the application, right click, 
undeploy web server. Now I'm going to right click here again, add it, remove, add web eight. Now web eight has been published very well. I'm going to go to uh, web eight, add passenger. There we go. And clearly I w actually want there to be an error. So I'm just going to click add passenger. And there we go. We got the errors. Um, okay, off camera, I'm going to improve the CSS here a little bit because, uh, yeah, I don't like the CSS here, but that, that, that's, but that's the idea. You get the errors and then we can, um, play with the CSS here. I'm going to, i probably attach a CSS file to this lecture where the, that improves the look of this, this arrow field, but let's say I put my first name. There we go. Now we have only two errors. Now then let's say first name and last name. Now only date of birth. See here in this form, I have to type it everything all over again in a real form. That's not desirable, but for our demo, that's good enough for now. And if there is no error, we are doing nothing because this dispatcher only works if there are errors. Then if there are no errors, it just goes to the uh, empty page. Uh, the CSS, as we remember, it's in resources, CSS, theme CSS. Uh, I'm, go I'm not going to worry about the CSS on camera. I'm not going to bore you with it, but I'm going to, because it works as if there are errors, it works, but it shows everything as it should. But uh, in order to, uh, for it to look nice, I'm going to change the theme of camera and please find the new theme.css attached to the web eight download to this lectures uh, download material. You can download the new theme and paste it and then this will look good. The only thing that I'm worried about still is this legend that I misspelled. There we go. I misspelled it because I knew I misspelled it because the errors should appear between be, in, in the, in, in kind of in the, between the gray, like here. So I know I misspelled it. So, um, so yeah, so, but that's okay because now I corrected it. Sorry, let's publish it again. And let's just, let's just go to the, okay, there are no errors now, but now there are errors. Okay, so there we go. It goes here. Okay, actually, ah, let's center it. In the other legend, there is an example, align center. Um, Sorry, a, a legend align center. I guess I'm also going to give it an ID error field set. Okay, well, okay, there we go. So that's about it. I'm going to publish it, going to go here, submit it. Okay, so I'm going to work on the CSS here and off camera and please find a new an updated theme.css file attached to that lecture, to this lecture. I'm just going to add some styles. It's not no Java, just add some styling so that when we look at this result, the, the error messages will be better aligned and so on. All right. So thank you for watching this lecture. Um, thank you. And uh, we'll, we'll continue working on this in the next lecture.